An old GM plant is about to be transformed into a Hollywood film studio. Raleigh, Michigan Studios will break ground on the Centerpoint truck plant. An office complex in Pontiac, it has lined up the $76 million it needs to start production. Construction should start within the next 30 days. And the Center for Film Studies is not wasting any time getting on the bandwagon, training people for this booming industry in our state. And joining us right now is Dan Phillips with the Center, who is an expert in the craft of special effects. Hello, Dan. Nice Thank you for you. coming in. You. I see you brought some of your work with you. Yeah, we brought some head and shoulders busts that we created down at this studio. And so this is pretty amazing. When did you start doing this? I started when I was about 16 years old. Wow. And I uh, went out to L.A., learned from an Oscar-winning makeup artist, and came back here. Uh, Worked for Chrysler for a number of years and took the buyout and doing this full time now. And now you're you're big time here. Sh mm -hmm. Tell me how you work a mask. I know we're going to show the finished product, but but show me how you do. Sure. Actually, like what that. this is this is actually a, a mold that we took off an actor's face, mm -hmm. and basically what we do from there is we sculpt an actual appliance with clay over the actor's face. We take a mold of that and we make a foam latex piece that goes over the whole. Now, whole. this is actually like a monkey's face. Yeah, that's Cornelius from Cornelius Planet of the Apes. Okay, yeah. from Planet of the yeah. Apes, and we're going to sure. see a finished Cornelius yeah, in, in right. just a minute. But you do all of this. Yes, you have to hand sculpt. Everything's hand sculpted, and molds are made at the shop and the whole nine yards. And you did all of these from scratch. Like, talk about this one. This is like a zombie, right? Yeah, this guy is just a rubber head and shoulders puppet we use, and we can use it for static shots in movies, and if we want to blow his head off or something, we don't have to use a real actor. Almost looks like something from Thriller, Michael yeah, Jackson's Thriller, real right? Close. And this is Linda Blair from The Exorcist, yeah, right? Yeah, one of the makeup of artists who I trained under actually worked on The Exorcist, so this was my little homage to him <laughs> and uh, okay. his work. So yes, this is uh, Linda Blair's The Exorcist. And, and it looks so real. Now, yep. now talk about this one. What is this? This old man, I, this is the newest technology. The newest technology now is silicone. Mm -hmm. and instead of foam latex, now they've transferred over to silicone. The silicone has got a real good translucency to the skin. And this is Frankenstein. We all yeah. know Frankenstein, Frankenstein right here. Yeah. But let's get over to the models. Yeah. And well, talk about this. Now this is, what, this is a zombie clown or what? Yeah, this is like a zombie clown. We basically just have started uh, with a foam latex appliance. Same with it at the end down there. Glued the whole thing to his face. Now you open your mouth a little bit. You can move his mouth and, and talk. talk and the whole nine yards. Wow. And he's all glued to his face the whole nine yards. And then there's a wig. Yeah. Okay. And, and this is Cornelius. That's Cornelius down at the end right there. He's another one. It's, it's foam latex. The whole thing is glued straight to his face. He can talk, open your mouth, move your mouth around. And it's all hand, wow. ha hand laid hair and it's a pretty tedious process to take off. So. Well, hopefully you'll be working on a movie right around here, huh? Yeah, I, I have. You have yeah. already. Yep. And yep. you're going to continue doing so. Yep. With and Center for Film Studies, we're going to continuously get some people down there and train them. Which is a wonderful thing. And we want you to know the Center for Film Studies is in Madison Heights at 899 East Whitcomb. You can log on to our website at WXYZ.com for more information on the center. Thank you, Dan. And Thank you. And to your models over there. Thank you. <laughs>